Howdy everyone, my name is Avery, and today we just got a, I guess, a short video. It's going to be a little showcase of a program that I had worked on recently. It's a program using the Go language, so I'm just learning it basically, so that's kind of the point of this project, just for me to try it out. And it's using a DNS package for Go, it's just some other project that's here on GitHub. For and Then I made a DNS query lookup tool, similar to Dig, it's very simple, I'll show it off to you guys in a second. I was thinking about actually making the tutorial for how to do it, but I mean, all the code is on here, just a single page of code, but I don't actually know Go enough to enough, I don't really know Go enough to try to explain it that well. I hope in the future to be able to have some more Go tutorials out, but uh, yeah, I don't know too much about how to explain everything, and also the DNS, I don't know a ton about that as well. I mean, I kind of just looked up some stuff, and then my dad explained some things to me, and then I just all put it together. But uh, yeah, so basically... I guess I'll just show off the code. I import some packages, and then here's the main function. So there's all these record types right here. I just, the DNS, this library right here, it has them all, but uh, I just want to have in a query in the command prompt, or the command line, where you just pass in the website or the domain name you're looking for, or the domain, and then the type of record. So I just have it set it, a map to a string, so you can pass in the record type, it knows a string, and it can actually get the type of record for the DNS library to know what you're looking for. And then I just have it set the basic record to A. I have it do the configuration uh, from resolve conf so then it can get the, uh, I forgot the exact name, but uh, the IP address that you're like, you're gonna be looking through. And you can also set your own in case you wanna be using like Google's or like that 8888 or whatever one, or you can pass in sort of whatever one you have. Uh, just with at, and then so you pass in the domain, then you can pass an at, and then you can pass in the record type, and then it will pass in the information through this query function, and this query function basically just creates, a re uh, it's checking for it, and it generates this, and it just prints it out, so I guess when it, the generate will run first, print info will just basically just loop through and just print it for all the results that are there. Um, this right here, I didn't actually pass in the domain, so it gets the domain from here, right here, and then right here, it's just uh, checking for, or, it's just checking for if the records exist, basically, and then it's going to print it out as an answer. I mean, like I said, it's not a tutorial or anything, but uh, I can show off what the code does. Let's, um, let's do DNS. Oh, my bad. Uh, go run, DNS.go. And let's do apple.com. Like I said, the default one is going to be A. So there's that right there. And I guess we can compare it to dig as well. So dig apple.com. And that's right there. Uh, you can see it's the same IP address that it came for for the A record. And then I think there's some records maybe for like some websites that just aren't going to exist. Uh, there's nothing popping up on here. And I believe for dig, I can just pass in the same way. I'm right. Yeah, so there's no results for dig either. But, um, do NX. Oh, maybe it's MX. MX. And then do, I mean, all the records are right here. So there's NS for the name servers. And then, I mean, say we do this for uh, my website, which you guys can go ahead and check out. It's a gaming tournament website. And there's the name servers. And you can get that. There's probably nothing under here as well. Oh, there is. Okay. Or that's... Maybe that's an IPv6 address. I don't know exactly how it all works. But, uh... But, yeah. It's really simple. It just... You give it the record type. And then, as well, you can pass in... A different, uh... Register... Uh... Different IP to look through it. And, I mean, it does the same thing. I mean, obviously, if you pass on one that doesn't work. I mean... It's going to give an error. Uh, and then, so it's actually pulling it from this, I guess. Cat, that's a resolve. So this is the name server that it's actually pulling the information from. Just that as well. I mean, it's going to be depending on your own system. But uh, yeah, I mean, Go is really easy to use. It's really easy to install. If you want to install this actual library yourself, you're just going to do, uh, it's going to be building. I'll have both these things in the link, but it'll just go get and then go build. And then in the actual code itself, I have it 
uh, just everything's already loaded in and you can just run it same way I ran it just with a go run and you can do the go build as well and everything like that but it's it's really simple just like that uh, you just pass in go run DNS go the domain name and the record type and you can also pass in what name server you're gonna be looking through but as simple as that um, I guess yeah like I said I'll have a tutorial out for the future for that as well and I actually have a different one that I'm working on. I'm not going to show the code for any of this at all. This is using CGI and Python. So it's a different library. It's a Python library for DNS. But, I mean, it does basically the exact same thing. Uh, those are the queries. But, uh, yeah, it basically does the exact same thing. I'm still working on this one. But maybe I'll show this one off in the future as well. Um, once it's closer to being done. But uh, if you guys are interested in any of this, uh, just let me know. Everything's in the description. If you guys are interested in... Maybe working on this if you guys want to add some more features because we all know Dig has a lot more features than just the ones I showed you. Um, you guys can go ahead and you guys can add it to yourself if you want to work on Go. If you want to practice a practice project to do, this is very simple. I mean, it's useful and it, it's not even 100 lines of code. It's a pretty simple project to work on. But yeah, this is all for today. I hope you guys are having a great day and see you guys again next time. Bye.